I'm here with Ben Beachy from the Sierra Club, the biggest environmental organization in the United States of America, and we're talking about trade policy. But first, Ben, welcome to Sweden. Thank you. It's really good to be here. What's wrong with trade policy today? Um, for two decades, we've seen that trade policy has really been captured by multinational corporations who prioritize their profits over everything else. And today, uh, trade policy is captured by xenophobic climate deniers like Donald Trump. Um, whereas we are saying, what would trade policy look like if it put people and planet before profits? We think that's a realistic goal and one that we're working to achieve. The Greens and European Parliament have worked for many years on trade policy and it's becoming one of the hot issues. We managed to defeat the ACTA Treaty, we managed to together to defeat the TTIP, you managed to defeat the TPP right. Treaty. Now we're at the stage where we need to formulate alternatives. How could an alternative trade policy be? Well, trade policies should reinforce and support our climate goals, our objectives of protecting workers, of protecting public health, rather than undermining those very goals. We cannot, for example, go and negotiate a climate agreement on one day and then turn around the next day and negotiate a, a trade agreement that perpetuates fossil fuel dependency. We need to ensure that our trade agreements really are supporting uh, people and planet first, not just profits. Because trade is not good enough if it's only about maximizing production. It needs to be environmentally sustainable, democratic and just.